Okay. That's good. Is it good? Is it good? It's alright. Yeah, this all right. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay, so plum. Mm -hmm. And plum, because like I told you, that's the second time I heard that this year. And you know, I think it's some bullshit. So you got to think about it. Okay. How do they classify black people? American, African American? Right. That's how they get away with saying that African Americans are minorities. Okay. The population of half are Population of Africa. By itself is more than the United States. Okay, so. And then you gotta think about Brazil. Gang of black people. I'm gonna tell you something. Yes. Jamaica? Jamaica, yes. Mexico? Mexico, yes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you something, and I want you to tell me what you think. So when we look at demographics, because you're mentioning different areas, you know, and um, we look at races, so that's African American, white, um, and adults and other ethnicities, because they always put that in there, but ultimately you're white, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's equal to me. So, there, the population is roughly, back then when I did this research, it was about, did you hear that? It's the sound of your sandpaper skin. Was it 7.8 billion back then in total? In the U.S., we have roughly, back then, it was 331 million people. Everything else is overseas, okay? So we're looking at, like, Indian, we're looking at Russia, we're looking at China. Black yeah, they do. They all got black people, but the majority, when they broke it down in race, white was not a minority. It was the majority. Mm -hmm. It's more than maybe, and that's our reality when we go out. Bullshit. That's what you see. But it's bullshit. In every state, that's what you see. But it's bullshit. So how do you um, how do you um, justify it? I they tell you that because that's what they want you to believe. No, I get that. And I, I, I said the same thing to the guy that I was talking about it with men. I was like, you know, so they're lying about the numbers. And I agree that they're lying yeah. about numbers and as a whole, you know, as a whole, but not the number of white people. They, it's too, way too many of them, and they ain't supposed to be. Wait, wait. Let me tell you something. They're, they're so worried about right now with black people fucking these white girls and, and having babies <laughs> with these white girls. Okay? They're worried about this. Because that's, that's, that's also taken away from their whiteness. Yeah, they're being cool. You're trying to say, They're being cool to half. Now, look. Yeah, that's the second time I heard this year, and it blows my mind every time I hear it comes. Because I'm like, how do you justify it? Exactly, so. It's almost like trying to make. They call, um, they call Brazil, they call black Brazilians Brazilians. Then they say they just no, panic they because they speak. Yes, they do. Look, you want to pull up some stuff on there? Let's use your phone though because you got the, the big print. I'm going to show you something. Right here. Okay. Yeah, you can Have you heard about the um, white extermination theory? Are they trying to exterminate us? No, it's, it, they're talking about the white extermination theory, like the white people are going to be exterminated, and that's how they become a minority. They're already being exterminated. We 
goddamn the every other nationality that ever treated me shit. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. She, and she got her own little on here. Okay. Even when you get back in, then you get the strip side. Yes. 
Okay, he's not reading it. I'm going to put it right over the L.
<laughs> every breakup, every split up, I've learned something about myself. And it's like I need to get a therapist, mm -hmm. a life coach, to help me be better. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, I'm telling her everything she yeah. wants to hear. Yeah. I feel like she's sitting back. This nigga here. Yeah. He feel How accomplished. Do man? How do you feel about the competition? It's no competition. Okay. I feel like we will always have to put our own blue dates. I'm moving in a different direction. Okay. Mine's right. You were right.
if I can, Mexican and Hispanic, and you know, normally they would be the same color. And then if I can, white people, and then white people would be like um, British, Russian, you know, that, that, that's ethnic group. So when we look at ethnic group, 59.3, majority. Yeah. What's the population of Africans? Which is a small percentage of seven. Eight. So we're going to say eight to eight. We're going to round it to eight. That's almost a billion and a half. One point five to eight. Yeah. That just, no, that just, 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 that how many black people are in Africa? How many black people are in British? British? I thought you, you had to break that. No, no. You no, want to get your that. average number? No, but there was a site that I visited that had the whole breakdown. They had just consolidated, consolidated all the data. And they were like, you know, this much of the black race is um, African. And this much of that black number is British. This much of that black number is this. But, How many white people are in the world? Serious liver problems can happen. Symptoms include fatigue, appetite loss, stomach pain, and bleeding or bruising. When caused, they can lead to death by the curve. Tell your doctor if you have pain or swelling in your arms or legs, shortness of breath, chest pain, and rapid breathing or heart rate, or if you're nursing pregnant or planning to be. I'm making time all the way to corporate. Ask your doctor about everyday Resenio. Baby. Say this. Okay. I, and I heard this from a scientist. Okay. That the black indigo population is the largest in the world. It's the largest in the world? Yes. Because a lot of people the secret weapon they classify as indigo. Really? Dr. Bird Glucosol contains the full research dose of berberine that helps keep your blood sugar in the normal range. Plus, three other powerful ingredients. It's made a great difference in my life. Glucosol is hard on gels. I've never heard of that. But now's your chance to try a complimentary bottle. Like that's well, okay, I, I get what you're saying. Six months, but look, six let's does say this. Now's your chance to join the over 30 yes. We're in the U.S. right now. Uh -huh. If we visited every state, mm -hmm. I think we could both come to a, a consensus that the majority is white in every state. And if we visit, if we decide to take off, then we go to Mexico. Okay, so let's say. And we go to. So hold on. You got to think. Some of these Cubans classify themselves as white Cubans and they can't be white Cubans support. Yeah, like that's all. And Indian too, you will find some because of their um, hickory. But they're not. You see what I'm saying? I do see what I'm saying. But that's what they identify as. Yes. But they're not. Yeah. Will we say that that's one for Australia? They all mix up. Them motherfuckers got some of everything, you know? Yeah. But um, when we look at the white race. They got a lot of Aboriginal. Uh, yeah. When we look at the white race that are there, um, will we say that they are not white? Like if we showed up, we, we decided to travel to Australia today. And we, we had a lot of British people there too. Absolutely. But if we went 
and we visited and we look at our surroundings and we look at pigs. Not ethnicity, because ethnicity is how we complicate it. You know, because we're, we're talking more about language, language and culture. You know, we, so, want to, we want to concentrate on genealogy. Genealogy, yes, absolutely. So when we go and we look and we say, what do we see more of than anything? What is it going to be? It will be the dark skin people. It's going to be the white people. Fine, did you try to say the white people? <laughs> I ain't trying to say this shit. You white people Fine, did you try to say the white people? But they, they gotta go. They timed it up. So now look, we're gonna go back a little bit further. We're gonna talk about Farrakhan and his teachings. Okay. And we're gonna talk about, you know, the science behind making people. And we're gonna talk about how this mountain and, you know, the biblical references that talk about the making of the white people. Tell you what. Okay. Go on in and, and, and check and see what Farrakhan say about the population of the world. And that's a lifestyle. Do you have like a expectation of that stopping or? Um, you say go and see what Farrakhan say about the population of people? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try and say this search. Farrakhan on the this will probably end up being like a YouTube video, but we're going to start here. Farrakhan is on the word more than 30 years ago. Leader of the Islam Nation. Mount High. Farrakhan speaks on black population of the world. The whole population or the black population? The black population. It was a younger Muslim cat that was really talking about it. Are you talking about, um, I, I think I know who you're talking about. Light skin also? Mm -hmm. Where's Black? Okay. College graduate, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's from um, California. Talking about Barclay, he talking about, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's real educated. He's always available as a friend. Talks about and everything, and everything else, stuff like that. Yes. Yeah. Like, 
keep it simple. Simple, okay? And then we'll have ice cream. There's those in my pods. Let's talk to you. Mm -hmm. Things like that. I call that memories. So let me think. Okay. <clears throat> you said fair count on the population of black people. But I think about what fair count said traditionally about black people is that he said that the white man, you know, the white race was created to pretty much show black people what they had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he, he talked about um, that evil, that devil, was to show black people what black people were made of and that they are of the same thing. That we came from the color flow as much? The answer about the mountain is we ain't say look, he ain't say they made look at this. Look at this. He ain't say they come from the color flow. Look, I'm like out the caves. Look, I think there's a science to making black people too. You know, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens and evolving humanity is a matter of There's very little um albino apes out there. Most of them black. Okay? You might run across the albino ape every now and then. Okay? Right. Okay. 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 <laughs> but All right. I'm just saying, what you saying that, you know. You so you got facts when you say But I see more black apes. That there was an original woman. Huh? There was an original woman. Okay. That there was homo sapiens and, the, homo sapiens and Neanderthals. And in order to evolve them, it was a matter of. Fuck it. No. Yes. No. They can't evolve, they especially the white race, because they're genetically just um genetically um what's the word I'm looking for? Recessive. That's why they were in caves. No, no. Yeah. Today, when you look at a white person and you see them look like they're not able to look, that is not a reflection of what a Neanderthal is at base. Something that cannot evolve. So, in order to make them evolve, they were attacking the original womb woman's bloodline, getting characteristics and traits, DNA, characteristics and traits, and applying it with eugenics. Not just eugenics, biotechnology is the eugenics. Okay, but what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. Back then, they were still caving, they didn't, they didn't know shit about fucking eugenics. No, but they were still made by science. So it was it so was scientific so, so, scholars, so saying, genetic engineers so this is what I'm that made them. Hold up, so what you saying? Yaku and Yashmo. So let me ask something. Okay. So what you're saying is that back when the caveman roamed the earth, they had, there was some scientists, cavemen out here there were scientists. looking for the genetics. There were scientists out here that made yeah. them. Cavemen. That made that made cavemen. Cavemen so, were just worse. So, so the scientists came before the cavemen. Yeah, the scientists, genetic engineers, scientists. So they were out here when the dinosaurs was out. Yes, absolutely. What was what, what your support advice? Alligators. Huh? Alligators. Who? Alligators. So when we look at time frames and timelines, okay, you know, and we we date all the way back. You gotta give me something to support it. Well, I can't tell you off the top of my head how long the African civilization has been around. Okay, so the African civilization, Which is when, they start, when, they, hold up, when they started writing stuff down in Mesopotamia, mm -hmm. um, in, in the library of Alexandria, you know what I'm saying? That, that's one thing, that's when the Egyptians and everybody else, you know what I'm saying? But we're talking about before the, the, the continental shift and the continent started splitting apart and moving apart and it all was one one big continent um i forgot the name you used to call it but i know what you're talking about but so, we're going to say that there's an inner world and a hollow world so you're talking about underneath the crust of the earth down there where the, the, the king kong near the corner yeah. king kong and, 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 and the little stick mm -hmm. Okay, and that when we talk about that, are you familiar with Yakub and Yashmo? No. You're not familiar with the big head scientists? Not really. I'm not going to listen to Not like that. Probably heard of the guys that are like that. Okay, so anyhow, we as folks exist in the inner world. Okay, so that means 
where we are, you know, they talk about this too geographically, you know, we, we all see that, you know, that there's a land of the land and the water is always in um, covering um, as it lies. So there are cities underneath this city, and there are, you know, geographically, that's all over. Yep. Flooding it out, wiping it out, washing away the people. That's the whole history of the people and stuff. But in the inner core, these scientists, these genetic engineers, these scientific scholars are behind the science of making the people. Mm -hmm. And they make these Neanderthal and these Homo sapiens, and they control it, they like control pretty much how they evolve. So if you make something that can't evolve and it begins to evolve, that's a matter of science, man, biotechnology, eugenics, but still in from one to create another. And so what you think is they manipulating our melanin so they can survive a little longer. Absolutely. I think that um, white people have to hear them that no one wants to admit that they have them. Right. An artificial representation of melanin. Otherwise, they go up in flames like they used to. So you think they used to? Because they can't stand the sun. You think they used to combust? Yeah. It's turned really, really black and combust. She's more mad about his responses than it when I guess it would have been a But it is by us all of them on, on this on that date together. Yeah. So she was just a little insecure, thinking old girl was about to take her view. Yeah. Well, if you want, you put up a fight.
all the prices you can't believe. But you shouldn't. And with some fast shipping, your school in two days. So this year, go to Wayfair. Hopefully, I'm gonna answer. <laughs> well, it's more like your opinion. All right. Okay, so you and I, we're both black. All right. Supposedly, you know. Okay. <laughs> According to our birth certificates and everything. Mm -hmm. But, okay, so look, if one of us supported black people, okay? Yep. And when I say support black people, I mean in terms of their resistance. Yep. And the other didn't support black people. Yep. Your race. In terms of their resistance. So they should be assigned. Like, um, in terms, like, when I say assigned, I'm talking about like, uh, we're talking about like Kevin and Does that make sense? So, let me ask you. Uh huh. Alright. I hate black people. <laughs> but I hate the world. So I'm like, it should be okay that I hate white people, black people, because I hate everybody. So I'll say this. Everybody got an opinion. Yeah. You can't you can't you can't torment somebody for their opinion. I agree. You know, you just you just want to make it known that hey man, whatever your view is or your opinion is, just keep it to yourself. Mm -hmm. And I won't tell you my opinion on what I think about this, that, and other, and you just don't tell me. And then guess what? We're gonna be cool. You see what I'm saying? Because yeah. I know a lot of motherfuckers that love that motherfucking Confederate flag. Mm -hmm. And I work with them, and I don't have no issues now. Whether they they got um when they go home. Mm -hmm. They talk about me like a dog, like that black motherfucker ain't shit. But that's black and white. What but you know what I'm saying? Black and black, or white and white. And yeah, that's that's the self identity problem. That's what that is. Okay. Ain't got enough money to be out there and try to educate all the motherfuckers. I feel it. I believe. Do I believe they know what's right and wrong? Of course. I believe that they, they, everybody should know what's right and wrong. If they had a little bit of teaching mm -hmm. growing up, you know, and rather they get it now, it's better than when they get it when they're in the jail now on how to act. She was always a safe number, my boy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I never talked to Pedro. 
I'm more or less willing to concentrate on me. Alright? It's always been there. No, but it's a part of me. Okay. But it's, it, don't, it don't make you or break you. No, but. Butts come and go. No, they no. Dis yes, they disappear. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, they do. And they put, put, being put on here, things. Look, look here. They, they, they go flat. No. Or they go into a boat. No, that's okay. fine. Guess what? I guarantee you, if you pick up enough weight, your butt will disappear. You just have a brick like that. <laughs> the curve is gone. The curve. Guess what? The curve will be gone. All right. You just be a big block. <laughs> That is it. All right. You couldn't, you couldn't differentiate. You gotta go back and, and chisel it out. You know what I'm saying? No, no. Gotta go back and chisel that motherfucker out. They're gonna disappear. I feel like it's a little stale. Good Lord. Let me ask you this. All right. What if there was a human model, like a human model of a woman? A human model. Of a woman and. Neanderthal yeah, and Homo sapiens were being made like the human body. You talking about a clone? Pretty much. Physically, I am showing up mentally. So. Do you think it's right to destroy the human model to continue making advancing? So. You putting say, booties on people. So, <laughs> uh, so I'm about to, I'm about to tell you something. Okay. And you might can relate, you might not. Okay. Wait, pause. I got pee again. That's keto, man. I'm well, I can't even blame you on that. I think if I was drinking anything right now, it would be right to food. That's what, drink number three, four? Yep. I said nothing. I don't say one thing.